The Catholic Sunday Mass readings for July the 10th, 2022, the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year C. The first reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, If only you would heed the voice of the Lord your God and keep his commandments and statutes that are written in this book of the law, when you return to the Lord your God with all your hearts and your soul. For this command that I enjoin on you today is not too mysterious or remote for you. It is not up in the sky that you should say who will go up in the sky to get it for us and tell us of it, what, that we may carry it out. Nor is it across the sea that you should say who will cross the sea to get it for us and tell us of it, that we may carry it out. No, it is something very near to you, already in your mouths and in your hearts. You have only to carry it out. The Word of the Lord. <clears throat> the Responsorial Psalm is Psalm 69. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favour, O God. In your great kindness answer me, with your constant help answer me, O Lord, for the bounteous, for the bounteous, for bounteous is your kindness. In your great mercy turn toward me. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. See you, lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. The descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall inhabit it. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. The second reading is from the letter of St Paul to the Colossians. Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or domini dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him, he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be the preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things to him, for him, making peace by the blood of of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test him and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbour as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly, do this and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbour? 
Jesus replied. A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped him and beat him and went off leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road and when he saw him he passed by on the other side. Likewise a Levite came to the place and when he saw him he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveller who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbour to the robber's victim? He answered, The one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs>